Now, Mr. Dudley, I know that this office makes you feel a little uneasy, to put it gently, but this procedure is fairly non-invasive and is required if we are able to get to the real root of the problem. There may be a small amount of discomfort, I won't lie, but we'll get you taken care of and schedule the second round for next week. Does that sound okay to you? Um, yeah, I guess so. Now, Brian, remember, you can't eat anything for 24 hours before the procedure and only drink water the day of the visit. But don't worry, this is just for the queasy type. You're not the queasy type, are you? You seem like a well put together type of guy. Now, I'll need you to sign this. Your appointment is at 10 o'clock sharp, so don't be late. Dr. Glover doesn't have all day, you know. Any questions, just give us a call. All I could look at were those clinical as hell white sterile ass gloves. And God, that sound. I mean, as if my nerves weren't already shot, you know? Look, I know you hate it, but Dr. Glover is the best in town. Trust me, he'll take care of everything. You'll be fine. I know he's great and qualified and credentialed or whatever. It's just that I don't even know if I really need these visits. It's like the medical industry takes a toll on me. Like, I, I feel less well, actually. But if you'd gone to the doctor in the first place, you wouldn't have to go to all these checkups. Mm. Just have faith in the medical industry. Did you hear that? Wasn't that the weirdest thing last night? What was the weirdest thing? The doorbell, the glove, the balloon thing. Um, I don't see anything. Uh, I gotta get ready for work. You are not crazy. You are not crazy. You stark white son of a bitch! What is going on? This! This is what's wrong! And this! And this! And this! And this! Whoa, Brian, you are freaking me out. You need to get your shit together.
I've got a problem. I've got a really big problem. It's sort of a infestation of sorts. Oh, uh, okay. Could, could you come over? My, my, my wife thinks I'm going crazy. I think I'm going crazy. Sure thing, brother. That'd be great. Thanks, man. say it's not like that man don't be scared just come with me for a minute you're off the rails uh what what is it you know i don't do bugs i know i know i know it's it's not like that it's more latex based just come with me uh -huh. There were like hundreds of them. They were right here. Uh, it's it's okay, man. You're clearly stressed. Tomorrow's a big day. Take a rest. And just try to have a little faith in the medical industry. <laughs> it's all in my head. The sooner you understand that, the sooner this will all be over. But they were so real. I could see them like I could see you right now. Fear and stress and dread, that's powerful stuff. Yeah, I guess so. The whole procedure just got me really tense, you know, and distracted. It started after the first visit. I, I saw his gloves and I just sort of hallucinated or something. I didn't, I don't know. It's all just a process. Dr. Glover is the best in this field. It's his specialty. And he and his staff have your best health in mind. Yeah, I, I think you're right. Have faith in the medical industry. You know, a little glovey once told me, have a little faith in the medical industry. Okay, Brian, everything came back normal. Your blood pressure, your heart rate is where it needs to be for the day for the procedure. Um, Dr. Glover will be in here momentarily. Thank you. Well, Mr. Dudley, 